summer. Now, it's a reasonably decent job. I get paid incredibly well for this job. said I was a gardener, right? Now I am an engineer as well, but just want to clarify, right? During the summer, I do 
this kind of stuff. See? Mowers, strimmers. This one's mine, and you can tell why it says mine, because it says go fuck yourself on the back of it. Right, and it says not a still, as with the rest are all stills. But it is, it's a French one like the still is, but still, fuck it. It's a fucking beastie machine, right, anyway, so... I am at the last, second last job of the day. Um, it's a pretty fucking shit day. I mean, I live in a pretty fucking place, I suppose. Right, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, this is my work van. It is a heap of shit. And, oh, I see my boss coming. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Well, this is my last job of the day. Well, for the moment anyway, no doubt, it's going to be me. There. What do you think? Yeah, looks reasonably decent. This garden I'm standing in at this moment in time got Home and Gardens uh, Holiday Home of the Year. It's a hell of a ripping, eh? But, uh, that's just the back garden, but uh, it's a big garden, right? But still, what do you think? Do you think I did a good job? Right. Anyway, best get on. See you later. Hey everybody, right, well the work day is over, um, believe it or not this is my back garden and I cannot be bothered cutting it. There's only one downside to my job, one, it's not really a downside because it adds character apparently but uh, you do get injured a little bit and when I say injured, see you've got the uh, scratchy, 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 scratchies, that stuff. And if we go to the other arm. We have, mind the farmer's tan, we have, like, see that there, that right there in my forearm, that was a burn from the exhaust of the, believe it or not, a strimmer, an old strimmer, and that one stung for quite a while, um, but uh, that's it all over now, see, I got home at the time I, pro I specified earlier on, I, <laughs> oh, I'm knackered though, it's quite, it's quite a, an energetic job. We I took a pedometer out with me once and it turns on a typical day I walk 25 miles. <laughs> so as you can imagine I'm reasonably fit. Um, so the only problem with working a job that is seasonal is when it's off season you're stuck with nothing to do. Now that's why I get paid so well at this job because I've got to make the money last over the season that I do, the rest of the season of the, the other end winter through to next year. So. Uh, that's why I get paid well, because we've got to make the money last, right? And um, obviously I fall back on my engineering skills on occasion. Somebody breaks something, I generally get called in to fix it, which is nice. Um, I'm quite good at that stuff. Um, but most Asperger sufferers are quite that way. And we're good at we're good with our hands. We most most go into engineering jobs, uh, sound engineers. Anything with an engineer in it, you know what I mean? Mechanical, electrical. Me, I'm a mechanical engineer. I build things. Um, I make things. I make things that hopefully help people. Um, well, I try to. It just depends. I, be, I make things on a necessity basis. Hey, yeah, look. Sunshine comes in installments. There we go. That's only the second installment for the day. It's only lasted about 10 minutes earlier on. But, uh, no. I suppose, I suppose, I best uh, go get a drink or something, you know, I mean, I've all been, I'm all changed and hopefully I'll, mind my trainers, I hope I'm all changed, showered and changed and stuff like that, but I just thought I'd wrap off the videos with a quick demonstration of how you get easily injured in this job. So the, the scratches are the worst ones, because they sting more than the gouges do, you know, the big deep cuts and stuff. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's mostly, I think, of brambles. I don't know if you get brambles in the States or anywhere like that, but in Scotland, brambles are like berries. Um, you can take them, you can make jam out of them, and jellies and stuff like that. You can make that out of them. And they are full of thorns. And there's bushes called rhododendron, which are basically a freaking weed. And they're awful, and you have to take them out with a fucking chainsaw. 
um, but rhododendron. Um, one time I was, the garden, the very first video, I was doing that one, right? And I was round the front garden and at the end of the, the very back corner there was a big rhododendron bush. And I was going along with the moor towards it and I did not realise at the time, it was the very first time actually I'd done that job, that's how I'm aware of it this time. Trust me, after this you recognise it happens. Right now I'm used to every garden because these bushes at the end, the hedges and stuff like that, you just swing round and your arm goes through the hedge. No worries, no fouls, unless there's nettles or, or poison ivy or we don't get poison oak here, but like you know what poison oak is in America, we don't, but we don't get that here. But anyway, um, you swing into it, it's fine, right? Generally, but this thing was riddled with brambles, and you couldn't see them because they were inside the bush, not on the outside. Like they usually come out, and you, there's a telltale stem that sticks out, and you see it. Okay, there was none of this, and I swung into the bush, and it ripped the skin off from my wrist to my elbow, and that one stung. Let me tell you, and there was a few. <laughs> Um, exponentially deleted curse words said that day. Um, not that you haven't heard me curse before if you've watched any of my other videos, but uh, no, this one was directed at a bush, which was quite interesting. Anyway, that's enough of my horse shit. I will uh, upload another video soon, I suppose. Um, I don't know, I'm just waiting for somebody to do something monumentally stupid. I was going to... I, I'm not going to wade in on the whole Sargon and Anita thing. I just think Anita was in the wrong. Well, she's always in the wrong. I think I've proven that in one of my videos too, but still. Um, I think it's been covered enough. So until something, until that blows over, it might be a bit of a lull in things. So um, until the next one, I'll see you later.